The Role of Reflection and Effective Communication with Kids Title, The Role of Reflection and Effective Communication with Kids Introduction Effective communication is a cornerstone of any healthy relationship, and this is particularly true when it comes to communicating with children. Parents, teachers, and caregivers play a vital role in helping children develop strong communication skills, and one powerful tool at their disposal is reflection. In this article, we will explore the role of reflection in effective communication with kids and discuss its benefits and strategies for implementation. It involves mirroring their words back to them and expressing empathetic understanding. Through reflection, adults can provide a safe and supportive environment for children to express themselves, fostering a strong foundation for effective communication. Benefits of Reflection in Communication with Kids 1. Encourages self-expression. Reflection allows children to feel seen and heard, promoting their self-expression. When their experiences are validated through reflection, they feel more comfortable sharing their thoughts and emotions. This open dialogue enhances their self-confidence and willingness to communicate. 2. Builds trust. By actively listening and reflecting, adults create an environment of trust. When children feel understood and accepted, they are more likely to trust the adult and engage in meaningful communication. Trust is fundamental to building strong relationships with children and supporting their overall development. 3. Enhances emotional intelligence. Reflection helps children develop emotional intelligence, which is vital for understanding and managing their emotions. By identifying and reflecting on their feelings, children can gain insight into their own emotional experiences and learn to express themselves effectively. This skill is crucial for building healthy relationships and navigating social interactions. 4. Empowers Problem Solving Reflective communication fosters problem-solving skills in children. When adults reflect their thoughts and ideas back to them, it encourages critical thinking and helps children explore different perspectives. Through reflection, children learn to analyze situations, consider alternatives, and make informed decisions, empowering them to solve problems independently. Strategies for Implementing Reflection in Communication 1. Active Listening Active listening is the foundation of reflection. It involves giving undivided attention to the child, maintaining eye contact, and providing verbal and nonverbal cues that show you are fully present. By listening attentively, adults create a safe space for children to express themselves and feel valued. 2. Mirroring Mirroring is a technique where the adult repeats back or paraphrases the child's words. By doing so, the adult demonstrates that they are genuinely listening and understanding the child's perspective. Mirroring also confirms to the child that their thoughts and feelings are important. 3. Empathetic Responses Empathy is crucial in reflective communication. Adults should strive to understand and acknowledge the child's emotions and experiences, even if they don't agree or share the same perspective. Responding with empathy helps build trust and strengthens the child's emotional intelligence. 4. Open and non-judgmental environment 
Creating an open and non-judgmental environment encourages children to express themselves freely. Adults should avoid interrupting or dismissing the child's thoughts and feelings. Instead, they should provide a safe space for communication, allowing the child to explore their emotions without fear of judgment. The Role of Reflection and Effective Communication with Kids, Part 2 Implementing Reflection and Daily Interactions 1. Cultivate Mindfulness Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment and aware of one's thoughts and feelings. By cultivating this practice, adults can better engage in reflective communication with children. Prioritize being fully present during conversations, setting aside distractions and focusing on the child's words and emotions. 2. Use open-ended questions. Open-ended questions encourage children to elaborate on their thoughts and feelings, providing more opportunities for reflection. Instead of asking yes or no questions, ask questions that require thoughtful responses. This allows the child to explore their thoughts and emotions further and facilitates deeper communication. 3. Be aware of nonverbal cues. Nonverbal cues, such as facial expressions and body language, play a significant role in reflective communication. Pay attention to these cues and respond accordingly. Show genuine interest and empathy through your own body language, such as maintaining an open posture and using appropriate facial expressions. 4. Practice reflective writing. Another effective strategy for implementing reflection is through reflective writing. Encourage children to write down their thoughts, feelings, and experiences in a journal or diary. This act of writing helps them process their emotions and provides an opportunity for further reflection. Also, acknowledging and responding to their written reflections can strengthen the communication bond. 5. Model reflective communication. Children learn by example, so it is essential for adults to model reflective communication in their own interactions. Demonstrate active listening, mirroring, and empathy when engaging in conversations with children. By doing so, you not only provide a positive role model but also create a communication environment that fosters reflection. 6. Provide positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement is crucial in encouraging reflective communication. Acknowledge and praise the child for their efforts in expressing themselves and reflecting on their experiences. By recognizing their growth and progress, you motivate them to continue engaging in reflective communication. 7. Continuously evaluate and adjust. Reflection is an ongoing process, and it is vital to continuously evaluate and adjust your communication strategies. Be open to feedback from the child and observe any changes in their behavior and communication patterns. Modify your approach accordingly to ensure that reflection remains a beneficial tool in your communication with kids. The Role of Reflection in Effective Communication with Kids, Part 3 Overcoming Challenges in Reflective Communication